Hi there guys, today what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a review on the Mercedes G63, the G-Wagon. So what we're going to do first of all, I'm going to show you around the car, all the exterior, and then I'm going to start from the engine bay, drivers, passenger, and then the boot, and then I'll take you for a spin. So as you can see, it's front of the vehicle. Sides. Alloys there, V8 by Turbo, AMG badge there, AMG, spare tire in there, G63. Massive alloys, massive brake discs, the brake calipers in red. Start off uh, by lifting the bonnet. So, there you go, that's the 5.5 litre V8 by Turbo Engine. It produces uh, 537 brake horsepower, so that's quite a lot of power for this car. And trust me, it moves really quick. Every single engine has been a hand. Crafted. This has been done by this guy. I can't say his name. It's a German name. I am, however, gonna try and pronounce it. Hendrik Hilitzi. This car weighs a 3,200 kilograms, so 3.2 tons. And this engine actually powers it really well because it'll do 0 to 6 in about 5.2 seconds. That's lightning quick for a car this size. I mean, look at the aerodynamics of this. It's not really great, is it? Top speed is. 130 miles an hour that's fast for a big jeep like this this engine would obviously be able to push the car a lot more if the air dynamics were there but obviously it's a bit boxy so that's a dial amg reaches six and a half thousand revs just about it's automatic of course when it reaches 130 miles per hour because of course the size the weight and the aerodynamics of this car that's why otherwise this engine would be capable of a lot more center console there it's got sat nav cd player there so that's your differential lock system I'm not really sure how you use them your own climate zones so it's left side there right side there uh, one thing i really like about this uh, gearbox is it's got the amg logo you see that you've got your sports you've got your manual and you've got your comfort settings i think comfort sounds the best in this car to be honest um you've got your low range there park of course we've got a little compartment here pretty spacious and then i think that's a medical kit under that glove box i think that's what it is got all your controls of rear windows front windows and then of course for your wing mirrors this is pretty cool guys Yep, like that, really neat. So that's the control of the headrest, the back, and we're gonna move the seat forward, backwards, put your locks away, the auto light settings there, and of course, key goes in. Let me show you the key. It's got an AMG logo on it, of course. I, I just wanna go for a drive, guys. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna speed it up. So let's speed it up. I'm gonna show you the back, show you the boot, and then, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys for a spin. I'm really surprised how much fuel this car holds. 96 litres, 0 to 62 miles per hour in this car is 5.4 seconds. So I just wanted to clear that up. Really love this, I really love it. 
So of course, center one brake, accelerator. So let's take you to the passenger. As you can see, that's a passenger. Plenty of leg room to be honest. It's not that bad. We've got TV screens there. I've got a child seat there. I'm about five foot four guys, so as you can see, headroom, yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. A lot of leg space. TV screens at the back. Got a space for a SD card, a USB, so you can put your own multimedia in, put SD card loaded with movies. No armrest, nothing like that. So it's basically three people can sit at the back. So you've actually got heated seats in the back as well. So that's pretty good for the passenger. You can get comfy. Exhausts on either side. So that's on the left. Then of course, the right. That's why it makes so much noise. Four exhausts. Fuel filler cup. It's there. This door itself probably weighs a ton, honestly. So heavy. Tell you guys. 100 reps of this, closing and opening, and get a good uh, shoulder, upper arm workout. Anyway, check the space of this. Right, I'll tell you what, I could probably fit in there. I wasn't joking when I said I could probably fit in the boot, I can. Look at this, all this space. So you know what that means guys, if you own one of these and you're running out of space, put three, four people in the boot, let them sleep here, get a few cushions and that, lie them down. See, off you go on your safari trip or wherever you're going. Really heavy this door. This is another cool thing about this car, check this out. Wow, pretty cool that. There's lights under the wing mirror so at night time you can see. Wow, that's quite a bit off the ground, isn't it? Let's have a look at the front. Wow, that's a lot of ground clearance. Now, as you can see, guys, it's very boxy. Let's go for a drive now. I think that's enough of a review. Let's see what it's about. Let's go for a spin, shall we? Come on. Hopefully this is gonna record. So look. Right, should work. If not, I'll have to go and pick my brother up so he can come with me. It's a big boy car, big boy car this. It's the big boy things. You can hear that, can't you? How it sounds. It's pretty neutral. Wow. It's a beast, this. Right, I think we're going to get lost. I think it's an overweight, you know. I'm sure you all heard that. Very loud. I hope you enjoyed that review and stay tuned for some more videos. Peace out. Fast, fast.